To God be the glory and praise. I would like to share to you the dream that I had February the 28th. And it has something to do about the wedding in a priestly outfit. Uh, Matthew 22 verse 14. For many are chosen, but few are called. In Revelation 5 verse 9 to 10. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. Because you were slain and with your blood you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. In my dream, I it's just a very short dream but very meaningful. I saw myself watching this room and the wall is open. I can see like a grill, uh, you know, metal grills covering this uh, this side, which I am, you know, uh, in between me and that room. So I'm seeing a lot of people. They're like very happy. They're like, you can see the joy. The, You know, I knew, I knew that there's a wedding going on. And everybody was like... Uh, uh, you know, overjoyed. You can see it on their face. But suddenly, I saw myself in the scenario. I was outside, but I'm seeing myself with this group of people. And I was even wondering. I said, um, I said, um, I, I was standing there, and then I said, where's my husband? And I saw my husband walking with me. I don't exactly see his face. But I was wondering, instead of me seeing myself in a, in a wedding gown, I saw myself in a priest outfit. I'm wearing this white linen with like a stripe of gold. You know, just at the, this very edge here and at the bottom. So it's really all white with like, you know, like a priest, priest um, outfit. And this is the second time I had a dream about the wedding. The first time that I had in my other video, I was wearing a wedding gown walking in the wedding aisle. But this one, I was wearing a, a priest outfit. And after that, the dream ended. So I woke up, I said, Lord, what do you mean by this? So I made a research. And just like what I read to you in Revelation 5, 9 to 10, that God, you know, that you are worthy in Revelation 5, 9 to 10. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. Because you were slain and with your blood, you purchased for God persons from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God and they will reign on the earth. Go to Revelation 1 to 6, and this is Jesus speaking. And has made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. When you go to 1 Peter 2 verse 9, But you are chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. We were, you know, we were living in darkness when we were in sin, under sin, under the bondage of sin. But the Lord called us to be under his light. When you go to Isaiah 6 verse 21, And I will select some of them also to be priests, and Levites, say, says the Lord. You know what, uh, brothers and sisters, I know right now uh, the Lord is just pouring out His Spirit upon all His children that they will have dreams, they will have visions, and they will prophesy. Honestly, I tell you, I had this dream, the 28th, and yesterday and the other day, I can even speak. I'm supposed to put the video on. But I don't know, it's like I'm being choked that I really lost my voice. And I'm just saying, you know, the demon is actually 
going around looking for anyone to devour. But Jesus has the victory. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, He is the most powerful that He can He can just rebuke and uh, cast the demon out. And praise to Yeshua for giving my voice back. So what are we supposed to do? If we are going to be the bride of Christ and we are going to wear this priestly outfit, what are the priests doing? In Acts 13 verse 47, For this is what the Lord has commanded. See, I'm saying the words and my neighbor right now is making some noise. I'm so sorry. For in Acts 13 verse 47, For this is what the Lord has commanded, commanded us. I have made you a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the world, uh, to the ends of the earth. In Matthew 24 verse 14, And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole, in the whole as a testimony, in the whole world, I guess. In the whole. Why in the whole? In the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. We are actually the supernatural church. Or the body of the true believers of Christ. If you truly repent and accept Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, HaMashiach, as your Lord and your Savior, we are actually considered the supernatural church of God here on earth. That we, that we are expected to, to spread the word of Yeshua in different parts of the world. And so, uh, and so brothers and sisters, the Lord said, we will be... Uh, we will be taken by Him as a bride, pure and clean in His eyes. If you are not, if you have not repented yet, please repent before it's too late. And if you repented, be fruitful. Be the, be, be the messenger, be the priest of God that will... Uh, Bring the light to whoever you meet, to wherever you go, and speak the words of God to uh, to every to every people that you meet. You know, people who are mocking you, or probably think that you are crazy the way they mock me, and I uh, think that I'm crazy right now. Uh, just just continually, continually uh, preach them the word of God. And just try to understand we were once disobedient and we were once stubborn. But give them a chance to listen and to listen while there is still time. God bless each and every one. In Yeshua's name, Amen.